Okay, so welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss, is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. For more information, you can go to bookmap.com. Uh, you can get a free trial there as well, 14 days. Uh, become a member or do that free trial, and then you have access to a lot of the free resources. One of those resources being the webinar that follows up here in about 28 minutes, and that is the um, advanced uh, analysis webinar. So there's uh, these two webinars that we do every day. Uh, the first one is about going through just the platform, the functionality, what bookmap is showing you, uh, how you might want to use it and engage it, and just uh, questions on, uh, on the functionality, um, what are the components are and um, uh, how to access them. Uh, and then the second webinar is uh, all about um, just jumping right in and uh, we look right at the live market. And um, uh, we, we look for, at the order flow, we read it, uh, you learn how to read the order flow, uh, and then uh, you'll, you'll apply it regardless of what your methodology for trading is, you're, you're going to understand the order flow at your specific levels, uh, and then um, uh, then you're up and running using Bookmap. All right, so um, uh, that is the, uh, the process here. Uh, if you're interested in that second webinar, uh, you do need to be in trial. Uh, that's uh, the kicker. Uh, the reason being uh, is that uh, uh, those that are either in trial or current customers, uh, they don't want to go through any of the platform questions. Okay, so um, uh, that's why we uh, uh, make the distinction between the two. All right, uh, so let's see here. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always reach us at support at bookmap.com. And uh, let's go through uh, the website here. Okay, so uh, top of the page. Uh, first, uh, you can explore here. Uh, there's a couple of intro videos. I would uh, recommend watching these if you're new here, uh, if you don't understand what Bookmap is. Uh, they're very short, a couple minutes. And uh, then let's go down to connectivity. Okay, so uh, Bookmap is a true platform. Uh, we um, uh, are not a data provider though. Okay, so you will need to have a data provider or a broker. And this, this is how you connect Bookmap. All right, so uh, you will need one of these uh, data providers or uh, brokers to be able to connect Bookmap to the live markets. Okay, now note that uh, most of these are for uh, futures. However, there is Dev Experts and NASDAQ here. Uh, and uh, this will allow you to uh, access uh, Bookmap equities, all right, uh, US equities only. All right, this is an excellent uh, data feed. I'll, I'll get more into that in just a second. Um, so uh, down here is the pricing. This is where you can find Bookmap um, for the 14-day trial. There's two versions of Bookmap, uh, basic and advanced. 49 per month for the basic, 99 per month for the advanced. They are billed quarterly, uh, and then you get that 14-day trial. The difference between these two versions, uh, the one-click trading right from the chart, uh, as well as uh, these add-on indicators here. Okay. If you want to see complete comparison, you can click here uh, and get the, the, the full list of, um, of what Bookmap uh, offers here. So let's uh, take a look here. All right, so it's actually, um, there is a different version too for the web. It's through Trade of Eight. Uh, it's, um, you can see in, you know, just uh, compare the different uh, versions here. There also is a um, uh, some quant features Okay, uh, it's basically the same book map with just different features, all right? So those of you who are quants uh, and looking for something very robust, you wanna uh, hook it up to your own uh, data feed uh, that uh, uh, if it's with Nanotick or if it's with um, uh, you know data that you already have set uh, data, um, uh, you know, from the calendar that uh, you want to study in particular, well, then you can do that with this uh, with this quant version here. All right. So uh, let's see uh, the bookmap portal. Okay. Once you um, be become a member, uh, then you'll have access to the portal. Uh, this is where you'll find a lot of the the, the videos here for features uh, and uh, and for education as well. However, you can also find many of those uh, on the YouTube page. Uh, here's our Twitter page. This is the most up-to-date. You can follow us here. Uh, just uh, gives you information on um, 
uh, most most recent information on what's going on and uh, a lot of examples and retweets of other users. So follow us there on Twitter. Uh, this will help your education. And then uh, the YouTube page uh, here, this is where you'll find all of the um, uh, videos. Uh, I would recommend uh, watching a few of the features and components. Start with the 6.0 uh, overview. Uh, and then the order flow video snippets are, uh, are excellent. They're very concise, uh, two to three minute videos. And in here, we cover uh, much of what we go over uh, in the advanced webinar. So watch some of these, uh, and um, uh, they're very short, and you'll understand uh, some of the phenomena that Bookmap uh, very clearly visualizes for you. And this will allow you to make more informed trading decisions. If you want to watch some of the recorded webinars, they are all here. Um, well, these are the selected webinars, I should say. Uh, you can watch some of these, uh, and you can also get a sneak peek into the advanced webinar. Okay, so there's a couple of the advanced, advanced here, advanced, and then advanced here, and here's the, the platform details one, uh, and there's another platform details here. Okay, all right. And then Futures Trader 71, uh, expert trader, um, veteran in the market, if you want to watch uh, how a professional uh, of this uh, uh, level, how he uses Bookmap and reads order flow uh, with, his, uh, with his trading. Okay, so let's jump into Bookmap now. All right, <clears throat> as you can see, there's a lot going on here. Uh, and uh, so I'm gonna simplify this. Uh, we do this process every day, uh, just so that uh, you guys understand w what it is you're looking at here, because this can look very, very foreign, and it looks like it's a lot. And it, it really isn't. It's actually pretty streamlined, and it's very, very objective data. Okay, uh, there's no indicator here. I mean, we have an iceberg indicator you see with these numbers, but, um, and that comes with the advanced version, but th this is just market data uh, and you're getting a complete picture of it. So that's why I'm gonna go through this process and we're gonna go through each uh, a bit of data uh, so that you understand exactly what you're looking at. Uh, and um, uh, this is gonna uh, help clarify it for you. Okay, so here we are looking at the, the S&P E-mini, and we're looking at a five-minute candlestick chart. Okay, this is a view most of us are accustomed to. Okay, we can see the 9.30 uh, open here. Five minutes after, we see a nice move to the upside. Uh, and we can see that uh, kind of struggled here, a little bit of sideways action, and uh, now uh, we might be going down and testing the, the, the low here uh, on this candle. Okay, so I'm, I'm very curious to see what the order flow is going to look like at this level. Okay, and we'll get to it in just a minute. Um, and we have the potential maybe coming down and testing the uh, the open here. So uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, anyway, uh, problem with the candlestick chart. There are only four data points here per candle. Open, high, low, close. And that's it. There's a lot of market transparency here that is just, it's not available. Uh, and you're making financial trading decisions based on this data. Uh, and uh, it's just uh, uh, not going to give you the insight that uh, uh, book map or, uh, you know, something that um, gives you much more information regarding the order flow. Uh, so, for example, the traded volume. Okay, we have a, a volume subchart here. We can see that. Uh, but uh, we don't understand a number of things. Uh, we don't know what kind of volume it was. Was it aggressive buying or aggressive selling? Uh, we don't know where it took place, on what price level. Uh, we don't know um, uh, microstructures within here. Uh, and um, uh, we don't know um, uh, exactly when uh, it took place within this five-minute candle. Okay, That's really insightful uh, information. All right? So uh, we want we want to uh, to look at that. And uh, let's uh, I'm just going to turn on the best bid and offer here. Okay? And that'll be the first thing. Now you can see that here we have the historical best bid and offer uh, overlaid on top of the candlestick chart. Okay, so uh, already you know, we're, we're getting um, more insight just with this alone. Uh, reason being is you can start to see some of the microstructures. Okay, so for example, I can I can look right at this right here, uh, and I can see that there there was a movement up, and then we base sideways for a bit, and then there was another movement up, and then it retained that level up here. Okay. 
all of that is really, you know, this this little microstructure here was kind of the key, uh, and um, uh, we don't we don't see that in the candlestick chart. It's just not there. Uh, so uh, uh, we're already getting a lot more insight um, compared to this five-minute candlestick chart. So now let's turn on the volume. Okay, and the way we display volume is on the historical best bid and offer with these dots. Okay, a green dot uh, represents an aggressive market buy. So let me zoom in. I'm going to click on the hand tool, the move tool. I'm going to hover over this area, and uh, you can, you know, left click, hold, and drag back and forth. But um, a quick way of zooming is just use your center mouse wheel while hovering over this area when using the move tool. Okay. So I'll just uh, zoom in, uh, reposition it, and zoom in again with my center mouse wheel. Uh, and um, uh, now uh, I can see exactly what occurred. So look at this little area right here. Okay. Just for clarity's sake, I'm just going to. Uh, zoom into this area. Here's our historical best bid. Here's our historical best offer. Okay, a green dot represents an aggressive market buy. Someone hit the market buy button right here. Okay, they took liquidity off of the best offer. Okay, they wanted in, and this is considered aggressive because uh, they paid up the spread, uh, and uh, they didn't provide liquidity. They took liquidity. All right, so uh, that's an aggressive market buy. Here's an aggressive market sell. Okay, with the red dot, uh, and um, you can see that uh, there are many transactions that take place very quickly uh, in this high frequency environment. Okay, this is just how these markets trade. So we can see here uh, that uh, we have a pie display of the volume, and in, in this pie here, uh, we can see that there's more green than red. Okay, so very clearly, uh, we already know uh, that uh, there's more buying here. Uh, opposite here, we see there, there's more selling than there is buying. If you want to know exactly what uh, these numbers are in terms of volume, well, we have sub-columns here uh, that uh, that uh, will uh, display the volume, uh, but we can also use this um, tooltip, uh, data tooltip, and you can hover over a little dot, and it tells you you get the date, the time, and it's it, it's based on uh, you know millisecond or microsecond depending on your zoom level, uh, and then what was on the ask. Okay, so this is the liquidity. Well, there's 510 contracts here uh, at this very moment, uh, at this price level of 80 and three quarters, and then the volume was one. Okay, here's another one for volume of 10. Okay, so if I zoom in here, uh, we're going to uh, start to. Uh, you'll note how um, uh, this was actually just one trade for 10. All right, so let me zoom out again. Um, but um, uh, the uh, yeah okay so you can hover over also this dot here that has both both of these trades uh, both both aggressive buying and selling and we can see this was for a volume of 375 okay if I continue to zoom out note how uh, I kind of consolidate uh, this um, this data and that volume uh, into a bigger dot. Okay, so this is just happening uh, visually, though, just graphically. Okay, um, we um, uh, are doing that uh, so that uh, you have the overall sense of what occurred at this time, and the size of the dot uh, represents more volume, uh, and then uh, the color uh, tells you the delta or what type of volume it is. All right, so. Um, uh, with very, very quick visualization, you can understand. If you want to look at the numbers, you can use the data tip tool, and you can also use combination with these data columns here. All right. So now, as I continue to zoom in, uh, I pull apart all that trade activity. Okay, And watch how I, I continue to zoom in here to this big red dot. Okay, Note how we, I've pulled it out here and uh, continue to zoom in. And uh, this is what really occurred. All right. This was a flurry and a cluster of volume that took place very quickly, uh, and we're down here at the millis or microsecond level, okay? so millions of seconds. And we can see, start to understand algorithmic activity here. Little cluster here looks very similar to this cluster here, okay? so uh, most likely an algo selling. Uh, and um, uh, you can start to uh, piece all of this together. But what I'm trying to get across here is. Uh, if you are trading algorithmically, um, you have access to every single market event that took place. In fact, there's basically unlimited zoom here in Bookmap. We're zooming now, and we're at the nanosecond level. 
okay? Now, we don't trade off of billions of seconds, right? So uh, this doesn't apply to most of us. However, if I zoom out, we give you the overall shape of that volume here with this bigger red dot, okay? So now you, you have both. Uh, and um, and now as I zoom out here, uh, and uh, let's, um, let's see here. Let me uh, change the uh, size of these dots. I'm going to make them a little bit bigger. Okay. That's a little too big. All right. So now on this, on this candlestick chart, we can see the volume. Okay. And we can see what type of volume it is, where it occurred in the structure, the microstructure that it, that it occurred uh, and uh, who might be winning the battle here. Uh, and uh, all of that information uh, is missing from that candlestick chart. Okay, this is very much like a footprint chart. Uh, you can uh, you can see the uh, the aggressor uh, who's winning uh, the battles here. Look at the little breakdown right here. Okay, so we held the structure up here for a bit, and then we we actually uh, saw this breakdown uh, when we first started the uh, the webinar here. Uh, so uh, uh, I was curious to see what the order flow looked like down here. Well, this is what occurred. Okay, they uh, uh, they hit the bid pretty hard uh, on the sell side, and uh, and price dropped down to this level here just at this swing. Okay, and that's what uh, actually what I was kind of eyeing and, and wondering what 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 this would look like, uh, looking for a target at that swing. Okay, <clears throat> and now uh, we're looking for insight, like who's winning the battle now? Okay, did the did the buyers uh, give up or not? Or are the sellers in control now? And uh, it's looking like it's kind of going both ways right now, just based on the dots and the color and the volume here. All right. Now, uh, knowing the volume is uh, is important. Uh, however, there's a whole other side to the order flow, and you're not seeing it here. Uh, and uh, and that is the uh, liquidity. Where's the liquidity? Where are the traders uh, that are uh, willing to uh, engage in this market on the on the buy side and the sell side. Most of us will turn to the dome for that current market snapshot, and this is the dome and book map. Okay, we can see the uh, the liquidity here on the bid. Okay, uh, below the uh, the green box here, and you can see the liquidity on the offer up here. Okay, this is your lit book right now. Okay, uh, and um, uh, we want to know that information. We want to know where these traders are lined up. We want to know if they want to get filled here or not, or is this fake liquidity? Are they going to pull that liquidity as soon as price comes up and, and tests them? Uh, now, the problem here with the dome is that these numbers change and that, that data is lost. You're going to have to remember it. Uh, you're going to have to remember that price level. You're going to have to remember how many contracts, how long it might have stayed there. Uh, what about the other areas around it? Were they bidding in front of it or offering in front of it or behind it? Uh, that's a lot of information to retain, uh, and it, it gives you a lot of insight. So although the dome is good for the current snapshot, uh, you don't have any historical reference, and that's where Bookmap solves this issue. So let's click on the heat maps here, okay? And uh, let me explain, okay? So this dome here is the lit book. All right here uh, is the also the lit book. Uh, you can see the uh, best bid and offer currently right now with the, the green dashed and green um, or red uh, dashed lines here. This number is the last traded volume. Okay, let me zoom in just a little bit more and let's click back uh, to the current market. Okay, so what we've done in this window here, uh, and this is reflection of the current market, the dome. Uh, is we uh, we paint these um, uh, levels of liquidity uh, in a heat map, okay? So you can see 1,200 contracts is bright white here, okay? 13, almost 1,300 contracts is also bright white here. Okay, mm -hmm. this this is the highest liquidity in the book right now. Okay, you can see these guys pulling here at 80 and a quarter. Uh, so um, uh, when these numbers change, the heat map will change. Okay, now. And that's insightful to get this graphical representation because if immediately I know, uh, without looking at the numbers, I know where the high liquidity is. Okay, I see on the bid down here at 78, on the offer up here at 81. Okay, just like that. Uh, I also have insight here that uh, at 80 and a quarter they're pulling. Okay, so they don't want to trade here. Did they have intent to trade here? No, they did not. Okay, now they're now they're jumping back in. 
Uh, but um, uh, as price came up one tick away, they pulled. Okay, now they're coming back and they're pulling again. Okay, so do these people really want to trade here? And the majority of them, no, they do not. Okay, because they're pulling. Uh, and um, uh, they, they're, if they wanted to trade, they'd stay in the book. All right, and we'll see if these guys at 81, as soon as we come up into this area, we'll see. Uh, but anyway, that's the current market. The historical market, all of this data here is recorded and then transposed onto the historical chart. So along with the volume, we also now have an understanding of the liquidity. We have an understanding of the auction that took place here. Okay, so look at these striations here at this level at 80 and a quarter. Okay, we can see the heat map got, uh, it was dark and then it got brighter and then it, it got darker uh, and then uh, uh, brighter again and, and, that, and that's happening right now uh, as well. So all of this information is recorded, transposed, and now we can understand uh, with a glance uh, where they're bidding and offering uh, and their intent, okay? And what about the other areas around it, okay? All of that you'd have to memorize in the dome, and uh, here you don't. Uh, it's all in front of you, okay? So very insightful uh, information. It's the other side of the order flow here. Uh, and um, uh, gives you um, a, an edge up uh, in uh, uh, in your trading. Look how we, we can see that we drop down below uh, this area right here. Okay, we see the aggressive selling. Then they flipped over here. Or they're, or they brought down the um, uh, their offer more aggressively here at this area. And uh, you know, so are we going to trade now down and accept below this level? Okay, this is that structure we were looking at. Right, this is where that that structure changed. Right in this area here, okay. This is where we broke from, and now uh, we can't seem to get back up into uh, this structure from uh, previous. Okay, so, and we can see why because there's high liquidity here, right? And they're they're pulling, uh, but uh, you know we're going to see the battle here uh, shape up. Is it uh, are the bulls going to win or are the bears going to win? And uh, you know we're reading our our, our uh, liquidity here and the, and the intent of these traders, and we already know that these guys at uh, 80 and a quarter do not have intent to trade. Okay, they've been pulling. Okay, and look where they're adding. Okay, they're adding actually up higher. So this is bullish. Um, you know, it's is is bullish to see them uh, uh, adding up higher in this structure. Okay, overall structure like. Um, you know, it, it, we're still holding down below uh, the line I, I just uh, drew in here. Okay, so, um, but we, but we know though uh, that uh, they don't really uh, want to uh, to sell here. Okay, so it, it will this structure hold? Well, if we need the aggressor to come in here and pull price up into it, but their intent to trade is not here. Okay, so we know that we know that much. Uh, this is just factual information. And we're putting the pieces all together. So if the bulls uh, uh, want, uh, they can uh, uh, take these guys on at 80 and a quarter. They'll probably pull and we'll come up into 81. Okay, that is a potential scenario here. Right? If uh, the bears start to step in here, well, what we're going to see is another leg down. Okay, And we're going to see them hit the bid pretty hard. Uh, we may see very, very aggressive uh, action here. Uh, on the uh, on the offer with the liquidity. Okay, not only will they have the intent to trade, they'll be uh, jumping in front of each other, uh, front running, uh, and uh, getting aggressive uh, at lower levels, and that would be bearish. Okay, and uh, where would we target? Where would the, where would price go? Okay, well we'd be looking here at the 78 level. This is where they were previously, and they pulled, but uh, you know you, you can see that the action is here. Uh, at 78. So I uh, anticipate uh, if we can break down um, uh, lower, uh, this will probably be the uh, one of the um, uh, critical areas uh, that we might see a um, uh, another bounce. Okay, so that's another scenario here uh, as well. Okay, and uh, here here's this here's the scenario that is playing out right at the moment. Look how they they um, are starting to bid a little bit higher here. Okay, 79 and a quarter, and they're pulling here at the 80 and a quarter. 
All, all the thing, all that's lacking here is the uh, the aggressive buyer. Okay, and uh, we can come up and test into some of these areas here. Okay, it's a little bit of a battle right now, uh, going back and forth, because as soon as we go tick away, these guys jump right back in. Okay, now we come a tick further or closer to them, and they jump out. Okay, so uh, uh, at some point something's going to give here, uh, and uh, uh, I, I thought we were just going to see it here when we saw them uh, lining up here at 79 and a quarter, and then them pulling. This is the recipe we look for, right? And then we look for the aggressor uh, to come in, uh, lift the offer up into 81. Okay, and uh, it's starting to shape up again here. We need a little more activity here on the bid, and we need the aggressor to show up. Okay, look at the areas up here. In the volume okay we see little green dots we want to see bigger green dots we want to see more aggressive buying that need that's what's required to lift the offer higher okay any questions on this uh, this is uh, uh, just um, uh, the basics uh, we're going through uh, starting to understand and read the order flow as well uh, this is the process we go into a lot more detail and depth uh, in the uh, in the webinar that starts in uh, in just a few minutes, okay. So um, uh, anyway, uh, uh, you can see that you're getting a lot more information here compared to your traditional candlestick chart. You're getting a complete picture of the market. Uh, it's just it's like I said, this is not an indicator. Uh, it's uh, uh, this is just really uh, a very objective view. Of what's occurring in the market and what did occur okay okay here's our second scenario right so we we didn't see the aggressive buying here now the aggressive the sellers uh, jump in okay and um, and now these guys are here at uh, you know that we're pulling at 80 and a quarter well they're back in and they're they're staying for the moment but but price has moved away what we're looking for now is them to lower that offer Okay, and then uh, uh, look at them uh, down here now at 77 and a half. Okay, so 78. I still think we that'll be um, uh, an area here that uh, we'll see we'll see some action. Uh, but uh, now the liquidity is here uh, at at 77 and uh, and a half. Okay, 78 starting to show a little bit of interest now too. Okay, all right. So. Um, Anyway, uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, if not, then uh, uh, we will uh, uh, wrap it up and uh, continue on tomorrow uh, with the, uh, the same process. And uh, I can go through a lot of different features and components. Uh, there is so many uh, to go through that um, uh, I don't even know really where to begin. I mean, we have an API. We have automated strategies here. Uh, that uh, can work with bookmap. You can write your own strategies as well. Uh, there are uh, several uh, add-on indicators uh, that give uh, a lot of information. There's a cumulative volume delta. Uh, that is down here in the subchart. Uh, there's all sorts of things. But uh, if you don't understand the basics, of what bookmap is displaying and how to start reading that, uh, then uh, it's not it's not really uh, uh, worth it to go over some of the other uh, other features at the, at this moment. Okay, so uh, uh, let me know uh, what kind of questions you have, and uh, happy to answer them. Okay. Anyway, yeah, thanks for coming, and uh, we will catch up with you tomorrow same time. Okay. Bye bye.